Robot research continues to evolve with recent innovations bringing realistic human behavior. But the question is, will these robots be able to get along in human society? Picture this, Bipes robots taking a stroll through town. But they are slower than humans, and they can't dodge people who bump into them. That would be pretty stressful, and not just for the robots. Instead of humanoids on two wobbly legs, it would be better if we invested in robots able to move through crowds safely and understand exactly what we need. At Meiji University, this professor researches robots that can shine in human society. I think the self-driving car is a great research field. The, I think the vehicles can move uh, with hours in our society, such like uh, stations in uh, shopping mall. This is Kuroda-sensei. He formerly researched autonomous vehicles and specialized in moon rovers. At MIT, he also worked on autonomous vehicles able to travel on bumpy roads in the wild. In 2006, he came back to Japan, where his research did not focus on the then spotlighted autonomous vehicles, but instead on robots capable of getting along in human society. He said it was his sense of adventure that led him to take a more challenging path. Yes, robots can do dirty, dull, dangerous jobs instead of robots. So we have much more free time to talk with humans. That is my bright future. He is aiming to create a robot that can respond to simple instructions, such as hand this document to Mr. Tanaka on the fourth floor. However, there are many jobs inside this simple task. First, calculate the route to Mr. Tanaka, just like self-driving car. Second, dodge the passerby and proceed to the elevator. Third, wait until the right elevator arrives. Fourth, when it finally opens, wait until people to get off and then get in the elevator. Fifth, again, dodge people and proceed to Mr. Tanaka's office. Sixth, distinguish whether the person at the door is Mr. Tanaka. And finally, hand over the document and deliver an appropriate message, depending on who receives it. You see, this one little task involves so many jobs. Do you then have to explain every detail to the robot beforehand? It's kind of a pain in the neck, not to mention impossible. So what Kuroda-sensei is researching is ways of letting the robots teach themselves using machine learning. Imagine, when you are going into the elevator, but a very slow robot disturbing you, what do you think? I think you are very uncomfortable. In order for robots to perform well in human society, it is important to collect as much data as possible by machine learning. So instead of collecting data in the lab, Kuroda-sensei lets his robots ease into our society little by little. That way, the robots collect data from actual human society, which enhances their utility and sets the stage for their popularity in the near future. I want to create society with robots that makes our life better. But you don't even have to know the robots are around us. It doesn't matter.